Hey everybody, welcome back to Sophisticates by Mary. For this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I am going to tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you the story of the wedding cake delivery that just about ended my career. I've been asked by a lot, asked, asked by a lot of people why I deliver the way I do and if I have any hints or any suggestions on how to deliver and there is a reason why I do deliver the way I do and let me tell you the story. So I was hired to do a very specific design of a wedding cake. Now this cake was going to be five layers of cake and it was going to be covered in rainbow sprinkles all the way around on each each tier. It was going to have big white bows in between each layer and it was going to have the Ninja Turtles, all of them, in the back of the cake as a nod to their favorite thing, the Ninja Turtles. And each character, each of the Ninja Turtles was going to be um, one on top of the other in between the tiers on each um, of the cakes. I'll try to find a picture of this uh, cake in here so that you see what I'm talking about. So long story, well not short, I've got 10 minutes to talk here, but <laughs> the venue that I was delivering to was at a state park and it would be, I would have to pull my car up on a hill and I'd have to carry it into the venue up a hill and it was going to have to go inside. There was a lot to this. And at this point, I did not have the delivery system I have now, which involves dry ice, insulated boxes, and a cart to actually help me get the cake into the venue without having to carry it. So this cake was going to be very heavy. And at this point, I also did not chill my cakes. There's a reason I chill my cakes, people. It's very important. So my this cake, once I got it done, looked great. Everything was perfect. Set it on my counter overnight to wait for the delivery for the next day. Now with all of the buttercream and all of the jimmies and all the decorations, this cake was very heavy. And it was fine. It was fine at this point. And I had recruited my friend, we will call her Shanice. <laughs> I had asked her to come help me deliver this cake because there was no way no way on God's green earth I was going to be able to lift this five-tier heavy wedding cake into a venue all by myself. No way in hell. I didn't even know how I was going to get my car up the hill without this cake toppling over inside of the back of my car. I have a van. This is what I use to deliver. It has a lot of room. Not what I want, but it works. So, I had hired, or I don't want to say hired, she volunteered with a lot of coaxing to help me with this delivery. She did wedding cakes also, and we did a lot of work together. So she comes to my house and she helps me get in the car. Everything's great. We're driving across the river. I live right on the Mississippi River, and I live on the Iowa side. The venue is on the Illinois side. And one of the bridges that we had to go over is an old railroad bridge that has the trains go over the top. It's like two layers. The bottom is where the cars go, and then the top is the railroad tracks on top. So the whole thing is made out of grating, like um, metal grating. It's not paved, so it's got a lot of texture to this road and a lot of bumps, a lot of bumps. And so this, since this cake had been sitting on my counter overnight with a lot of heavy buttercream and heavy sprinkles and five tiers of cake, going across this bridge, no matter how well I had constructed this cake, this was a disaster waiting to happen. By the time I got to the other side of the river, in about, I would say, half a mile into the town, the bumping of that grating had wiggled something loose on that bottom tier of that cake. I turn a corner. I'm going straight, just about to head up the hill. My friend is in front of me, in her car, and I hear thump, psh in the back of my car. My heart about came out the other end, if you know what I'm saying. I think this was my first experience with a panic attack, not having a clue what to do. It was a nightmare. I started honking my horn, I'm waving my arms, I'm saying, pull over, pull over, flashing my lights at her, trying to get her attention. My brain is exploding. My heart has stopped inside of my chest. I can't think straight, I can't talk, nothing. <laughs> She pulls over into a gas station. I pull over 
Behind her, she gets out of the car knowing something happened. She comes over to me. I roll my hands are shaking. I roll my window down. And I said, Shanice, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I think I short-circuited. She said, what happened? I said, look, in the back of the car, the cake had completely fallen over. Completely fallen over. A baker's nightmare, right? All she could say was, <laughs> she didn't know what to say. She didn't know what to do. All she could say was, okay, 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 this is what we're going to do. Okay, 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 I got it. This is what we're going to do. She did this for probably five minutes. I climb in the back of my car. I'm picking up what I can of this cake like a child. Like my child who needed to go to the emergency room. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I finally smack myself out of my state of shock and horror long enough to realize, okay, we need to fix this. We need to fix this. But we need to get to the venue first and it's up a big hill. So I was able to, the bottom tier was half smashed. Um, I can't remember exactly. The top, the top tier had flown off. There, two tiers of this cake were salvageable. We had sheet cakes. Okay, we have something to work with, right? I'm not going to be able to have as many servings as they want, but we're going to have something to work with. So I said, you, you go to the supply store. You get some foam cake dummies. You get some pre-made fondant strips. And we're going to make this happen. We're going to make it work. I have enough buttercream. I have enough of those jimmies. I have the miracle of all miracles. The actual bows themselves made it. And the Ninja Turtles were okay. Okay, so I so said, we're not going to have enough to make it a five tier. We're going to have to make it a four tier. We've got two tiers that are salvageable, and we need two more tiers. So you go get a six inch dummy, and you get a 12 inch dummy. Meet me at the venue. I was able to, there was a skewer that had gone through the entire cake. So the middle two tiers had stayed together. So I was able to upright them, put them on a board so everything is food safe. I, I cover my car. At that point, I had, I um, uh, I don't know what to call it, like parchment paper or whatever, on the um, surface of the back of my car. So everything was still, you know, edible. So I sent her to the store. I had propped up the two tiers that were salvageable in my car on another board. I start going up the hill. Dang it, wouldn't you know it? It fell over again. This time rolled a little bit in the back of my van. I just kept going, just kept going. And on my way, yes, I called and I talked on my phone in my car. I was numb. I didn't know what was going on. I needed to let the family know that there was a problem, but we're going to be okay. So, worst phone call of my life almost, right? I call the mother of the bride. I'm not going to call the bride because I don't want to make her panic in the middle of her day when she's getting ready. So, talk to the mother of the bride. I said, okay, something bad happened. I'm just going to be honest. Something bad happened. But... I'm going to fix it, and you're going to have cake for everybody, and you're going to have something pretty for them to have as they're cutting cake. I promise. She said, okay, I trust you. Take care of it. We're good. She must have been sitting there with her daughter. It's the only thing I can figure. They're in the salon getting their hair done. Doesn't want to upset her daughter. So I go to the venue. My friend meets me there. We were able to, there's a kitchenette in this venue. We were able to frost the dummy cakes get them coated in in the uh, jimmies. We were able to salvage what cake we could from that bottom tier, half of it was okay, cut it into slices, put them on trays. They were ready, covered, ready to be served. Nobody would know that they were part of a previously done cake. So we were able to stack it up, level it out, get it as good as we possibly could. And like I said, the the Ninja Turtles were fine. The bows were fine. Huh, worst experience of my life, but we had a four-tier cake at the venue that if you didn't look close, you wouldn't know there would ever been a problem. (laughs) If you look close, you would see there was a problem. But I think the lesson in this is it's not if something goes wrong that it's the end of your career. What it made me do was revisit the entire situation, how I deliver my cakes, and now I have a whole new system, and I actually even got referrals from the clients because of the way we handled it. Ta-da! So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to 
Check out my other social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.